Okay, everybody, thanks for uh, coming back for another episode of uh, Crypticals Heli Update. This is uh, it's a beautiful uh, Thursday. There's not a cloud in the sky anywhere. And uh, I'm getting ready to go out and do some flying today, since my weekend was so crappy. There's uh, there isn't a whole lot of wind today, so I'm hoping to get a chance to fly the uh, hoping to get a chance to fly my sniper around a little bit. This is a good little uh, foamy. Um, <coughs> it's uh, EPP foamy, but it actually has a uh, you know an airfoil, fully symmetrical wing. Um, it's it's a nice little uh, a nice little uh, bird to play around with. It uh, it flies. It's good stuff. Um, if you know, depending on how the wind turns out this afternoon, I'm going to try to get in a couple of flights on my uh, my King, my Honeybee King. And uh, <coughs> the Honeybee King, I've got carbon rotors on it. Uh, I know it's kind of overkill for this little bird, but, you know, it's it's a little bit of extra bling there. And I also uh, upgraded the tail. I put a Diablo, uh, a Diablo tail on there so that... Uh, I can get a little bit more uh, tail authority, and of course I'm running a uh, 401, 401 on this thing. Again, it's way overkill for this bird, but you know, I figured, what the heck. And then I'm gonna get a chance to test fly my brand new Shuttle Plus Two, and uh, I did do a little bit of a hover yesterday, just playing around with it, but um, yeah, today I'm looking forward to getting out and, and really doing some. Some, uh, some flying with it. <coughs> uh, I've got a GV1 on there. And again, it's probably overkill for this 30 size bird, but I really wanted a chance to play around with the GV1 and uh, and see how it works before uh, before upgrading to a bigger heli. Um, I finished the upgrades with the, with the T and the fuel uh, filler uh, tap there. I've got a little uh, pinch line, a little pinch device there for the uh, stop it from flooding the carburetor when I fill it. Of course, I've got the uh, the header tank, the main tank. Got an AR7000 mounted up front and uh, 3600 milliamp hour battery and a battery monitor right there. Nice little battery monitor. Of course, the uh, secondary thing. Now, I've got this thing set up as. Um, uh, HPM, whatever old style helicopter swash plate setup was, not CCPM, and uh, I did that because I don't know why, but uh, I really like the way it, it set up. It, it set up pretty pretty easily. Um, you got one one servo controlling pitch, and yeah, one servo controlling the pitch of the blades, one servo controlling the the roll and uh, and one servo controlling the elevator, so uh, not not too bad. I got a 401 nestled in there somewhere. Uh, I've got this wiring mess up front. Uh, hopefully, after a couple of test flights, I will sort out that wiring mess and uh, decide what I'm going to do there. And of course, there's the battery just kind of hanging out there. I'm going to get some uh, foam for it and there's some other stuff. I don't plan on doing anything more than hovering in a couple of couple of quick passes today so we will see how that turns out uh, I'm not real happy with the, uh, the shuttle canopy this thing is a real pain to get on and off there's a couple of little clips down in there and you've got to slide it under the clips just right and try not to overshoot the clips ah, there we go and then there's a little locking tab up here at the top it'll be kind of hard to see but uh, my pretty pink paddles. These may show up red on the camera. I don't know, but trust me, these are these are flaming hot pink. Maybe flaming is a bad word for that. Uh, get a nice close-up of my new fly bar cage after I demolished the old one. And uh, nice little close-up here of the Quick of Japan tail. Nice CNC aluminum tail. And I still didn't tighten up that tail rotor blade. I'll do that at the field before I fly, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I got all the stickers on it. Nice little stickers. Make it look all sweet and pretty. 
Um, normally I paint my canopies, but really I don't I don't plan on using this canopy for very long. I want to get a T-Rex style canopy. Uh, I saw a mod on one of the sites where they uh, they used a, a T-Rex style canopy on the shuttle, so maybe I'll get a T-Rex canopy for it. Um, <coughs> you can see I painted some nice little uh, shark teeth thingies there on my on my little uh, my little uh, honeybee king. So, but looks like it's going to be a, a good day of flying. Uh, maybe I'll post an update once I get up to the uh, up to the field. Thanks for tuning in.